this is Dave Strong from the Schmidt Music Saxophone Shop. And today we're going to be trying a new piece. This is a piece by a gentleman named Sebastian Knox. And this is the Knox New Standard American Series. And this is in a 116 tip opening, so a little bit above an 8 star. Really interesting piece. Um, we took this one in on a trade. Um, I've never played any of Sebastian's pieces before. I've heard of him. I've had friends who've played his pieces, and they've all raved about him. But this is the first one I've actually held in my hands. This one's in really nice shape. Uh, looks like it was just tried out a little bit. I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm going to show you inside the mouthpiece. Hopefully it's not too gross from spit, because I was just playing in a little bit. But as you can see, it has that little horseshoe-shaped baffle right here, just kind of where it uh, dips in here. Kind of looks like what's on an early Babbitt link, maybe, although a little bit, a little bit more pronounced. So a little bit of baffle there, but then it opens up pretty deep when we get on the other side of that. And hopefully you can see this well in the uh, in the photography here. But yeah, that's how it looks on the inside. Here's the blank from the side a little bit here, and once again, yeah, the Knox. American series, new standard, so the lettering is a little faded on there, but hopefully you can see it. So that's what it looks like. Let's see how the mouthpiece plays. I played it for just about five minutes before this video, found a Lavaz medium that I normally use on my, on my other pieces. Worked pretty well, um, and we'll do a little playing here and see what we think. <laughs> So to me, this piece is open. Uh, the bigger tip opening has a little part of that, but otherwise it's just, you know, I'm used to playing pieces with a little more baffle. This can get really loud. This can get really powerful, but on top of that, it can get really fat. And if I just like stay open and keep things open, this mouthpiece has a lot of, a lot of sides to it and, uh, and uh, a lot of flexibility. I can get a little brighter if I, if I tighten up a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's, it's something I'd feel would be beautiful on ballads or jazz standards. It'd still be able to cut through in a big band environment. And I'm sure if I, if I really push myself and uh, uh, put a lot of air through it and got my tongue high up in the back of my mouth, I could play a pop or a rock gig with this one as well. So this seems like a really good kind of gigging musician's piece because it's really flexible. The eight star allows a lot of flexibility as well. So I'd be interested to see how this plays in a smaller tip opening. But boy, beautifully made mouthpiece, flexible, nice amount of resistance, but not too resistant. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to happy to play this on uh, most gigs. Uh, so if you have any questions about this one, we just got this one in our trade. But boy, I'd love to work with uh, Sebastian in the future uh, because he sure does nice work. But if you have any questions, reach out to me at the sack shop at Schmidt Music or in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.